today's teachers and all the public who have gathered here in today's program. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish you a very good afternoon. You all know the burning issue of 10,000 test teachers uh, since 2014 and today again it reminds us of the previous gathering where we have made last year 52 days program we had held a program here at city center agartala and we are back once again here at city center agartala in demand of our job security you all are aware regarding the rti copy which was posted in various social media and many hundreds of teachers have applied RTI copy in Supreme Court. So that is the reason why does other Tinsotes teachers are here in order to grab the attention of director madam and in order to get the attention of education department. That is the reason why thousands of teachers, does other Tinsotes teachers have gathered here. You all know that as per the reply of RTI from Supreme Court, all the teachers are not covered by the judgment of Tonmoynat. You all know who is Tonmoynat. Once upon a time, uh, in 2011, uh, sorry, in 2014, he had filed a case. So the RTI reply says that all the Dasazar Tinsotes teachers are not covered by this 2014 Tonmoyn adjustment. So that is the reason why Dasazar Tinsotes teachers have gathered here. If you recall back the termination letter, firstly we have received a termination letter in the year 2017. 2020 was not the first time that Dasazar Tinsotes teachers have been issued termination letter. But it was in 2017, during the former government, we were issued termination letter along with ad hoc joining letter. I hope you all could recall those days. Along with ad hoc joining letter, the termination letter was issued in 2017. And accordingly, after that, new government was formed and they have extended this termination letter, uh, sorry, the ad hoc period. They have extended to another 16 months and later on again, they have extended to some other, some few months. But if you carefully read the termination letter, the ad hoc appointment letter, you will see the SLP number at the top of the appointment letter in ad hoc appointment letter you you will observe if you see you will observe the SLP number the SLP number which was written in Ton Minor adjustment 2014 Ton Minor adjustment there is one SLP number and the same SLP number was written in the year 2017 termination come ad hoc appointment during the former government and again after BJP IPFT came to power they have extended this ad hoc period to 16 months and there also the same SLP number had been mentioned and if you refer the RTI copy the recently if you refer the RTI copy where some hundreds of dozens other Tinsotes teachers have filed in Supreme Court in the RTI copy also, you will find the same SLP number. So now, coming back to our termination letter 2020. In the year 2020, 31st March, before we lose the job, before one month, each and every one were notified with individual termination letter from their respective uh, inspector of schools or HMs or whatever they were intimated with common termination letter and there also you can see the SLP number so everywhere the same SLP number was mentioned so citing this SLP number those other teachers were terminated 
But where is in the RTI copy? The reply says that with this SLP number, which was written in Tonmana Jasmine, you are not a party. So this is the biggest question to education department. The same SLP number was mentioned in termination letter and the same SLP number was mentioned in the RTI copy A file from the Supreme Court. The reply is totally day and night. The, term, the common termination letter says that you have been terminated uh, citing the SLP number of Ton Moina Jasmine. And the same in RTI copy A, it says that with this SLP, same SLP number, you are not covered by the Jasmine. So my question to education department, which direction should 10,000 teens go now? 10,000 teens teachers have been terminated by education department mentioning Ton Minot judgment. And Supreme Court says that you are not being terminated by Ton Minot judgment. So now question is, who is bigger, the education department is bigger or the Supreme Court is bigger? Who is the law of the land? As our Honorable Education Minister often talk, that law of the land. So now the Supreme Court says, the law of the land says that you are not covered by Ton Minot Jasmine. Then how could the education department terminate us? So that is the reason, friends. There is a reason we are here today to raise our voice in demand of our job security. That is why from Dharmanagar to Sabrum, thousands of teachers have participated, have shown their participation in today's program, in today's one day student demonstration program. Unless and until we don't get solution, we are not going to move, off, uh, move away from our democratic protest and our legal fight from time to time if you recall back all the judgment copy i don't know how many of you have read the judgment copy but myself i have gone through the judgment copy several times if you see the tonmana judgment those other test teachers were terminated due to illegal employment policy 2003 so when was this employment policy frame employment policy was framed in the year 2003 and under this same employment policy thousand of government employees have been recruited in the year 2005 2007 and accordingly till 2014 the recruitment took place and not only in education department in various department in Tripura under this 2003 employment policy around 50 to 60,000 employees have been recruited but when it comes to the judgment of Dossajar Tinsotes teachers the court says that the policy is illegal so if the policy is illegal how could only those other teams of test teachers be terminated? It is very funny. Policy is made for all the recruitment purpose and for all the recruitment criteria. Policy is made. Policy is made not only for recruiting those other teams of test teachers. Policy was framed to recruit the entire. A recruitment process that uh, entire uh, any recruitment that take place from various department so when policy was framed in 2003 SC Das was the law secretary during the former government I hope you could still remember SC Das he was the law secretary during the formation of this 2003 employment policy and when 2014 verdict was passed along with uh, Honorable Justice Deepak Gupta, S.C. Das was also along with uh, Honorable Justice Deepak Gupta. So, if Justice Deepak Gupta have termed the policy 2003 years illegal, along with him, S.C. Das was also present, then S.C. Das could have supported the employment policy 2003. 
so i should say the policy is totally bias to indirectly murder all these 10300 test teachers so that is why my dear friends from every angle we have so many so many ways and means to protest for our legal fight as well as for our democratic fight so that is why dear friends don't lose your hope in demanding our job security our jobs were never terminated till today as of today no individual person have got your individual termination letter but whereas when offer was given you individually offer letter was given but as of today since 2017 not 2020 since 2017 department is unable to give individual termination letter till today so that is why don't lose your hope we will fight together and win together that is our commitment and 10300 test teachers will get back their job that is for sure but the thing is we have to be united we have to remain united so that we can achieve our uh, future target so that is why all those who have come here in today's protest in fighting for your bread and butter i salute each and every teachers who have shown their who have shown their respect and who have shown their one for this uh, the job which had been illegally terminated by education department so dear friends uh, let me not prolong my speech i have many more to say but time is very limited so that is why uh, thank you so much for giving me this valuable time to share few thoughts about the 10300 teachers thank you